what is up guys welcome back to another show we're going to be talking about paul we're going to actually target the DeFi sector this is part of the roadmap guys if you didn't know there's a DeFi loan situation lending and borrowing that will be a part of the ecosystem we're going to talk about how important that is there's a huge upturn when it comes to decentralized finance adoption let's get into the details yes yes guys welcome to another show i hope you're doing very well it's a beautiful day very sunny here in texas we're going to be talking about the Paul ecosystem in general we're going to focus in on the DeFi loan platform that's going to be actually embedded within this actual ecosystem roadmap this is going to be down the road but i want to get into this because i think this is very very much needed situation it's very needed DeFi in general there's a big uptick in the numbers when it comes to adoption now the banks don't like it because the third parties they don't have a chance with this these are smart contracts there is no need for third parties it's a 24 7 situation we're going to get into the benefits as well with these type of platforms this is actually a part of the ecosystem roadmap that will be rolled out in the future now let's go ahead and get into the actual benefits of decentralized lending and borrowing now the benefits of it and we're going to read into this i want to specifically get into this thoroughly because a lot of the newcomers a lot of the new investors they're interested in this type of protocol but they don't know a lot about it and the benefits that matters because what you are dealing with in the real world that is collapsing and i'm not even going to go too far into that but if you do keep your eye on the news especially these last couple of days you already know our banks are doing very bad across the board across the border worldwide guys we have a banking crisis a liquidity crisis when it comes to a lot of these institutions and honestly guys i don't think blackrock is going to be able to buy every bank on the planet so again that's another video let's get back to the benefits of DeFi and how PawSwap is actually going to have this type of protocol embedded within the ecosystem benefits of DeFi. let's get into this DeFi aims to make financial services faster more reliable and more accessible that's the key to the accessibility uh, when smart contracts are used to facilitate financial contracts both human error and manual validation are eliminated from the processing and the validation functions these factors can make DeFi quicker more reliable than traditional financial services and this is very key guys let's continue but these are not the only advantages of these type of transactions because DeFi is digital it is available 24 hours seven days a week and you can access this from anywhere with an internet connection eliminating the need to trade when markets are open or to conduct business during banking hours okay this can make DeFi more accessible to those who want to trade during off hours and for those who live in time zones where traditional banking hours are not as conducive now let's go ahead and unpack this because this is why this is an option. There's a huge uptrend going on with decentralized finance. And that's why a lot of the banks are starting to kind of like present a resistant wall against it because they feel the pressure. This is something that's going to be huge in the future. And I'm glad that the actual paw swap, the paw chain devs, I'm glad that they actually are implementing lending and borrowing as a protocol, as a DeFi protocol within the ecosystem. It is within the roadmap, guys. And you can see this. I've seen many graphics about this. Now, there's very little information about the actual uh, intricacies of uh, the uh, Paul Swap DeFi loan platform. But I can tell you this the Paul coin, which is one single coin, that's all you need, guys, in an ecosystem like this. You don't need multiple coins, only one coin does the trick guys and this will be the center of attention when it comes to all the hubs and it's specifically this DeFi uh, loan platform it's very simple no third parties and it's cryptocurrency guys anybody with crypto can actually interact with any type of DeFi loan lending borrowing protocol this is very easy to do and as i read to you this is 24 7 banking hours are actually irrelevant to this discussion it's a beautiful thing now let's continue with this and then we'll move to the actual statistics that i want to show you guys when it comes to uh, these type of protocols and how the actual adoption is starting to ramp up and it's essentially going to snowball right over the traditional banking let's go and get into this last paragraph DeFi can also open new avenues for investing that are traditionally reserved for very very extremely wealthy individuals now for example prior to the invention of DeFi, only very wealthy individuals and large institutions could engage in this type of process allowing investors to generate passive income by lending out their funds with DeFi, anyone that owns cryptocurrency guys can participate in these activities and this is a cool part about a hand clap for DeFi, man i love DeFi. it's beautiful 
is very beautiful. Now let's go ahead and get into these statistics. Now, we're talking about total value lock. Now, this data is specifically being gathered from the Ethereum blockchain, which is the, the dominant blockchain, guys. A lot of L2s are riding on the top of Ethereum. So this data is good. This is gonna be within the billion dollar US dollar uh, nominal value of uh, the market share. Lending is by far ahead of DEXs, assets, derivatives, and standard payments when it comes to a total value lock in the billion dollar range when it comes to decentralized finance. And I wanna point this out because this is why I love the fact that the par chain devs are seriously implementing a DeFi loan protocol within the ecosystem because this type of activities, these are going to be like very sought after. As you can see the numbers, we're talking $47.4 billion, okay, within the borrowing and lending uh, protocols when it comes to decentralized finance, guys. Uh, in, in particular, borrowing and lending, it's huge. It's big in the real world, but when you take out the middleman, when you take out the third parties, when you take out the actual restrictions, when it comes to uh, people's pocketbook, anybody with cryptocurrency can get involved with this. You can lend or you can borrow within the PAW ecosystem. We'll be using a PAW coin. That'll be the central collateral base for the borrowing and lending, as I understand it. Now, those details, I have to say, they may change, but as far as I understand it, the little information that I did receive, PAW coin is going to be the center of that particular protocol. And that is beautiful. That bodes well for the use case of the token. It's already going to have massive use case. There's a massive utility coming out of this ecosystem. So the PAW coin is a okay. It is fantastic. So, what do you think about this, really? I really want to see your comments here about this uh, particular implementation of a DeFi loan protocol within the Paul chain ecosystem. It's going to be down the road, essentially, guys, because the dev team is working on a lot. I'm not sure when they're going to actually deploy this or actually really start talking about the actual deep down details of it. But what I do know and what most of us do know, we see it implanted into the ecosystem roadmap. We know it's a reality. It will be built. And I think it's going to do quite well. It's going to give us that again. I say this all the time, that bifurcated value, not only in the crypto currency space, but this is going to give the paw chain, the paw ecosystem that out of space touch with the real world. We need that. The real world needs DeFi. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next update.